Welcome to episode two of Glorifying God, um, where we glorify God for who he is, what he has done, and what he's going to do. Um, today's episode is named, What is the Gospel? Before we start off, I recommend that you watch episode one, which was Sinful Man and Holy God, so you will have a better understanding of this episode. What is the Gospel? One of the first things that John the Baptist said when he saw Jesus, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. What does that mean? Did God provide something? Or someone? Yes, he provided his son. Remember when you heard about Adam and Eve when you were smaller, the first humans God created? God held Adam to perfect obedience and he told Adam not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But Adam rebelled and he ate. The creator told the creature not to do something and he rebelled against his creator by eating from the tree he commanded him not to eat from. That is sin. Rebellion against God and now having the knowledge of good and evil, evil is now in the world. But remember what John the Baptist said when he saw Jesus. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. What does he mean by Lamb of God? We see in the Old Testament of the Bible that in order for God's people sins to be forgiven, they would have to provide lambs or other animals to be slain for their sins. The Lamb took the death penalty for their sins because the wages of sin is death. But they would have to sacrifice over and over and over again, pointing or foreshadowing one final sacrifice. There's another part to that verse. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So that is why John the Baptist said when he saw Jesus, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. In Romans chapter 5 verse 19 it says, For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so also by one man's obedience many will be made righteous. We know who is that one man who disobeyed, Adam. When he sinned, sin entered into the world. Many were made sinners, you and me. But there is hope. Look at the next half of that verse. Through one man's obedience, many were made righteous. Who is that one man? The man Christ Jesus. God said when his son was on earth, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The slightest sin would have turned God's smile to a frown. But yet Jesus was without sin. So what was he what was um what was his obedience that made many righteous? In 2 Corinthians 5:21, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Listen to that. All we know is sin. All we know is to do things that God is displeased with and hate, like lying, sexual immorality, fornication, drunkenness, envy, outbursts of anger, selfish ambitions, disobedience to parents, boasting, and the like. Things God hate. But there was one man, the man Christ Jesus, who obeyed God fully. Again, it says, For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. He was without sin. In fact, he knew no sin, but he was made sin on our behalf. So what happened? Did he sin on the cross? No. He was declared guilty for us upon that cross. Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The sinless, spotless, blameless Son of God was forsaken. So we would not be forsaken for eternity. Let me tell you this. God is good and we are not. We stand guilty before a holy and righteous God and we all deserve death because of sin. So what can we do to be right with God? Did you watch episode one? We cannot earn ourselves to heaven. We cannot earn our way to God. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But look at this half, this um, other half of that section. Being justified freely by his grace to the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Again, I have to repeat. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us. That we might become the righteousness of God in him. Did you hear that? The righteousness of God. Not the righteousness of an angel or an angel or your pastor or the righteousness of you but the righteousness of God. Repent and believe the gospel. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and was buried and was rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. He paid it all. He paid the death penalty for sin. While he was on that cross, he said, it is finished. And when he rose from the dead the third day, 
He told his disciples that it was written and was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission or forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name to all nations. That's Luke chapter 24 verse 46 to 47. What is repentance? It is a change of mind, a change of mind of your unbelief, change your mind on sin. It is a change from a sinful course of action and to turn to God and his righteousness. When one of the disciples were preaching in the book of Acts, he said to have repentance towards God and faith towards our Lord Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 20 verse 21. Repent and believe the gospel. We are sinners and deserve God's wrath. But Jesus Christ took the wrath of God on himself the man who knew no sin, so that we could be reconciled to God. So again, John the Baptist was right when he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Before we end off, I would like to read Romans chapter 5, verse 6 to 11. For when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For rarely for a righteous man will one die, yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrated his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more, having been reconciled, we will be saved by his life. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. Romans chapter 5, verse 6 to 11. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Spotify, Instagram, and YouTube. The latest YouTube video was the Gospel in the Old Testament. It shows you God's faithfulness and what Jesus fulfilled. Thank you for watching Glorifying God, where we glorify God for who He is, what He has done, and what He is going to do.